by the end of this video, you're going to be able to make this really cool livery on any car you want, very quickly, very easily. Let's jump straight in and show you how it's done. So first thing you want to do is choose what car you want to put this livery on. I'm going to go with the Dodge Viper for this video. Then you just want to go to your paint section and then you want to turn the saturation all the way down. That's just going to make the whole car completely white and it makes it nice and easy to work with. And we can see what we're doing when we head into the vinyl section, which we want to be going into next. Go into your vinyl menu, open up a new livery, and then you want to go all the way to the very last section, which has got kind of camo and special patterns and stuff. You can do this with any camo at all, any one of these patterns, but we're going to go with the digital camo just for this video today. And then the first thing you want to do is press your add control button which is the left, the left trigger for consoles, or just press the button there if you're on PC. And what that allows you to do is stretch the vinyl using the D-pad on your console or using whichever buttons are uh, for PC right there. So you can stretch it out, make sure it goes to the front of the car and the back of the car. And then you wanna stretch it, you know, tall, like up, so that it reaches the roof of the car and also the bottom of the side skirts. Once you've done that, you wanna press this projection button here so number three for PC or right trigger for console. And you wanna do that when you're looking at the car from this angle. This is gonna make sure that the vinyl appears on all the different sort of um, body parts and different um, like vents and all the crazy stuff like that just so it properly appears on the whole car. Once you've done that, you wanna stretch it out again to make it a bit more tall. Get it to the sort of what angle you want it on. I guess you could do a, a sideways angle or completely straight. But simple as that, there we go. And then you just wanna press the Y button, so the symmetry button here. And that means it appears on the other side of the car. And there you go, simple as that. We've got the first bit done already. You might notice on the back with certain body kits, you get this kind of weird um, effect where like some bits are missed out. That's because we projected the vinyl from this side of the car, which means that anything on the back side of the car, um, you won't be able to see very well. So all you've got to do is just open up another one and just do the same thing. But this time project it from the back of the car and then you want to stretch it just so it fits the, uh, the bumper of the car or however you want it. So I think that looks good, blends in with the rest of the livery. Looks quite nice. And there you go, that's the base of it done. Essentially, you've got a camo livery in black, white and grey on the whole car. Now comes the fun part where you can mess around with all the different paint colours. So you want to click on the digital camo, then you want to press the left thumbstick or this button for PC. And now comes the really fun part where we can mess with the colors. So there's three different colors on three different layers. Just to show you, you know, what we're working with, I'm just going to very quickly change all the colors so you can see for yourself the different layers that you're uh, going with. I mean, if you're happy with that, you can just save that. But yeah, we're going to go for, I think, a black, red, and red chrome color scheme for this one. So what I'm gonna do is go back to layer one. I'm gonna make that black. Then I'm gonna go to layer two. Oh, by the way, to change your layers, you just press either one or three or the left and right triggers for our console. So I'm gonna make this a nice gloss red, I think. Again, to change gloss, like paint uh, style, you press these buttons here or press, um, what is it? Y and X. So I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna go with a gloss red so I think we'll use this red down here. Nice. And then, oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's go back. And then I want to go to my layer three and I'm going to make this a gloss red, but this time I'm going to make this one chrome. So it stands out. There you go, a nice shiny chrome. And again, you could go gold, you could mix it up. You could do a yellow, red, blue, purple, pink, anything you want. You've got three colors there to mess around with. But like I said, I'm going to go over red and red chrome, I think for this one. So I think it suits the Viper, this sort of style. And then all you want to do is just do the same thing on your um, on the back part. And you can just copy up the same colors that you've uh, used before. So layer one is black. Layer two, I think, was this in gloss. So let's change that to gloss. Yep, and then layer three was this in chrome. And there you go. We have now got a digital camo livery on the whole car in our custom colors. And once you've done that, obviously you can add loads more stuff. So let's uh, let's save that. Now is when you sort of mess around with sponsors. And I mean, if you wanted to, you could put, you know, anime girls on the side. You could do anything you want. 
once you've got that base design done, it's, uh, it's basically up to you from there. What I'm gonna do for this simple livery is just add a nice little sponsor on the side. Let's go with uh, something like that, with a nice black shadow as well. Put it on the side and then press the symmetry button again, Y. And then you've got it on both sides. And then, you know, do whatever you want after that. Add loads more sponsors, go for a formula drift style livery. You could add like a red chrome sun strip. You could do a light tint on the windows. You could even tint the headlights or the tail lights in red or black. And then also you can just head over into your uh, paint section and mess around with that stuff. So we could say, um, let's have, I don't know, let's have the outside. Oh, by the way, um, a fun thing you can do on this is the multi-select. Press the left, uh, the left thumb stick down or just click this button for PC and then press A on the parts that you want to change. So we'll do the outside of the rims. We'll do the arm, the spring, the brake caliper and the second sticker on the tire. And then we'll just go into this and change that to red. There we go, definitely suiting the livery now, looking a lot nicer. And then we can go back and say, for example, I want uh, the front spokes in white and I want the strut also in white. There we go, bam, easy as that. Wait, how do we do our, oh no, wait a minute. The strut's messing me up. So if I take off the strut, I go back and I just paint these front spokes, then we can do the actual like um, custom stuff like chrome. So the wheels and all that stuff you can do chrome, but certain parts like the springs, you can't change the paint type. So just keep that in mind when you're using the multi-select option. But there we go, we've got a crazy looking livery, very quick and easy on the Viper. And if we wanted to, we could do some more stuff like change the roll cage, the frame. Uh, we'll just do that for now and see how that looks. So we got the frame and the roll cage. Let's make that red as well, a nice dark red. And there you go, in just a couple of minutes, We've got a digital camo livery in black, red, and white, red chrome and red gloss. But you can do this any color scheme you want. You know, purple, blue, black, gold, anything at all. A really nice way of making a quick, easy livery that looks really nice on pretty much any car. Let me know in the comments if there's any sort of liveries or tutorials or tips and tricks that you want on the livery editor. I'll make some more videos to help you out. Subscribe if you're new. I make lots of videos helping you on CarX and Forza livery tutorials, tune setups, how to drift on the steering wheel, how to get money and XP very quickly, how to do certain things in the game, and also we live stream where we do car meets. I review everyone's livery and car build live on stream. We do police chases, hide and seek, some fun mini games, lots of tandem drifting, and soon formula drift competitions and cool stuff like that. So lots of cool stuff to check out. I hope this video helped you and I will see you in the next one everyone. Peace.